I've had some people in my comments recently on YouTube who have been very, very angry. Specifically, there have been two topics that people have been very, very angry at me about. Um, one of those is understandable, which is my criticism of atheism. The other one, of course, we, I should clarify that. When I say my criticism of atheism, my criticism of atheism and atheists as an atheist. I am an atheist. I have been an atheist for a very long time. And I, as far as I can tell, unless, uh, uh, unless some sort of divine being incontrovertibly proves itself to me, and even then I think I'd still be very sus, um, uh, decides to prove itself to me, I will continue being an atheist. And I don't uh, gamble on any of that happening. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, so that's one that's been bothering people. And the other one that's been bothering people has been my opinions on AI art, okay? Boy, oh boy, have people been mad about my AI art takes. And I find it really funny because uh, we actually have a topic on the list tonight about AI art. So... Maybe we'll get to that, but I wanted to address a comment, okay? I wanted to address a comment specifically that was left on one of my videos. And I didn't want to respond to it. I wanted instead to address it on stream because um, it's stupid and it annoyed me, okay? And I don't mean to be too mean, but let's be real. This person is pretty mean. So here we go. This is from Big Old Tits 1880 Congratulations. You've got your day of fame. Who are you to claim what is and isn't art? Who made you the arbiter of art? This is like when Scorsese claimed that Marvel movies were not art. Beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. And as one of the beholders of AI art, my sentience is certainly not in question. Not true on the modern AI internet. This could be a chat GPT person and we wouldn't even know. Actually, we probably would because chat GPT is having like a breakdown right now, but whatever, you could be a bot right now. So your sentience is in question. Anyway, and I say, AI art can be beautiful and moving. Now what? How are you gonna counter this opinion of mine, lol? You gonna claim that your taste in art is more correct than mine? Yes. This is just silly. Beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. Again. Uh, and I have loved many of the hundreds of AI-generated images I've seen so far, just as I have loved many of the thousands of human-generated images I've seen so far. Art is whatever moves us. Uh, so I guess a bowel movement is art then. It moved you. It moved at least a big chunk of you. Who cares about the artist and whether the artist is sentient or not? and trying to convey something personal or not. Bam. We motherfucking got him. We motherfucking got him. <laughs> got him. This is one of the things that always fascinates me about um, about AI art people, which is that they are fundamentally uh, like just broken on the inside and on an emotional level. Um, they're very selfish. Uh, arguably even uh, narcissistic people um, who literally cannot comprehend um, that every piece of art that they have actually consumed through the entirety of their, of their lives, every single piece of art, and even the AI ones to a certain degree, has had a person behind it that made that thing for them, that they were creating a bridge between them and somebody else. Kind of incredible that people will self-report uh, to that degree, right? That they'll just be like, I don't give a shit about whoever made this thing. It's content. Slop it into the bowl for me. I genuinely despise this type of person. And I, there's a part of me that the spiteful part of me goes, I can't wait until you get the exact world that you dream of because your idiocy will damn you to a completely unenjoyable existence and you won't even know why. Um, this level of just like like toxic aggression of like, who fucking cares about the artist, man? I just want to eat, bro. It's the same type of mentality that like 
that that like makes for an entitled person buying their cheeseburger at McDonald's or whatever that screams at the chefs because they didn't they like did some minor thing wrong or because their burger patty got mixed up and they just needed to wait five more minutes to get the correct burger. It's the same shit. But of course, uh, I don't believe the rest of us should have to suffer for the idiocy of pig-headed fools like this person. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? If I soak my dog's tail with wet paint and capture her tail wags on canvas and the resulting painting makes me smile, then that painting is art. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. You decided to immortalize your dog because your dog was important to you and you, you, you got your dog's tail wags influenced by you onto a piece of painting. Holy shit, we're making it, we're getting somewhere. It's almost like what you created, you had a reason for. You as a human instilled something, paint with meaning. You and your dog that you're bonded to, that presumably your dog trusted you enough to let you dip its tail in paint. Holy, oh my God, oh my God. Who cares what my dog wanted to convey to the beholder? I do. I do. And I care what you wanted to be con conveyed to the beholder. I do because because I'm better than you. And you know, I know people are going to say that's the most insufferable thing, but let's be real. I just read this whole insufferable ass comment. And when they said, who, how are you going to counter my opinion? You're going to claim that your taste in art is more correct. Yes. I do actually think that my taste in art is better than you and that I am a better person than you unironically because I actually care about what went into the creation of something that I am enjoying because I am not an asocial freak looking to g g glop up anything that I can to eat up the life, blood, and soul, and sweat of every other person like some kind of fucking, like, a uh, uh, mythological greed monster. Like, what the fuck? Unironically, what the fuck is wrong with people? Next. The emotion comes from me, not from the artist. Fundamentally solipsistic worldview. I felt it. That means it's mine. The artist made you feel something. The artist's work created your emotion. You didn't go make fucking shit. You decided to shit out this embarrassment of a comment instead of making something that makes other people feel something. But you're so unbelievably narcissistic and solipsistic in your worldview that you believe that the art is just an object for you to consume and nothing else. Pathetic. Shallow embarrassing. Let's continue. I think you just feel threatened by AI as an artist yourself. So now you're standing up for real artists so they won't lose their income to AI. I don't feel threatened by AI. In fact, streaming is like one of the last fields that is going to be conquered to, by AI because part of what makes uh, streaming so good uh, is the fact that I can dynamically look at my comments right now, like I'm doing right now, reacting to you, but also that I can look on my screen right now and go, Melody Rain says, he says that like it's a bad thing to defend workers, and I can dynamically and humanly respond to that and go, yeah, he's acting like it's a bad thing to defend workers because this person is fundamentally a slop-eating machine. They are, uh, the, they are the sort of epitome of uh, of the consumer. They are a being that does not exist for any other reason but to consume. Magic how that works, right? So I'm not threatened by it. But what is threatened is a beautiful world. Well, I guess, no. I apologize already. I was wrong. I was wrong, chat. I am threatened by it. Not personally. My career is not going fucking anywhere for a long time. It'll take AI a really long time to be able to replicate streams like mine, what people come to me for. However, I am threatened because I actually really enjoy art. 
I actually really, really, really enjoy being able to find inspiration from what other people are creating in the world and enjoy those what those people have to say, enjoy what they decided to put on the page or on the screen or into my hands in the form of a video game or hell, even in the in the delicious pastries that, that, that baking artists decide to create. I like that stuff. So yeah, I do feel a little threatened by AI. I feel threatened by the prospect of a bunch of corporations with more money than you can even dream of deciding against all of our wills that art doesn't matter and that all that matters is a slop creation machine for hogs like you. Yes, I do feel just a little bit threatened by that. I feel like my world is going to get a lot worse if people like you have your way. Let's continue, shall we? Where were you when automation took away millions of manual labor jobs, lol? Where? Have you seen my goddamn streams? Have you seen any of my videos talking about, uh, about automation? And also, I wasn't fucking born yet. The, the beginning of automation started in the fucking industrial era with mechanization. And it's had terrible consequences for the world because of idiots like you. Because of morons like you who said, oh yeah, we should plug humans into a horrific machine that makes people not happy in the name of greater consumptivism. Instead of going, wow, we invented some cool machines. How about we use this to make a better society where we have better things, but also the humans within it can live. It's because of people with your mentality who ignore the people behind the things. The alienation of labor from the thing that's in your hand is part of the fucking problem. So that's where I was. Now that artists are under threat, you suddenly care about saving jobs from AI. I've always cared about saving jobs from AI and not just saving jobs though, saving people from AI. I like the idea that we can use automation to accomplish some things. I think that automation to accomplish things that are very difficult for humans and painful for humans to do should be done. But art is not just a product. Art is something that is that is magical for the person who is receiving the art and for the person making it. I don't know if these people understand. And I, actually, I do know. The reality is I know that none of these people are artists because what they see art as is a job. They see art as something that stands in the way of something they want. They want cool jingling keys and flashing lights. They don't see art as a as a cathartic process that an artist engages in to create something out of their own soul. When I write a story, it is pleasant, okay? It doesn't always mean that it's easy. It's often very difficult. But when I write something, I am distilling a part of myself in an act of, 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 of expression. That is fundamental to the process of art and it's for part of what makes art art. And these people do not understand that because they're not artists, because they wouldn't even know if you sat them down and told them to try and make something, they would be like, oh, my mommy didn't make me my tendies yet. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, it's just, it's too hard. Why can't a machine just do it for me? These are the type of people who would, who would go, we should just have, uh, we should just have a machine that fucks your wife for you. You know, oh, God damn it. Who? It's like these types of people don't understand that there's something pleasurable about the process. There's something enjoyable and important and, and vital about the process. Just accept it. Dolly is already a way more skilled artist than you will ever be. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. I say this as a writer and photographer myself. Ah, uh, bullshit. I don't believe it. I don't believe that somebody who uh, decided to write a comment this stupid and idiotic is a writer or a photographer. I think that what he says when he means, or they, whoever this person is, uh, whatever they say, they mean that they write YouTube comments, which I guess you could consider a form of art, maybe, I guess. I don't know. You're just scared that your superpower creating art is being devalued because a machine can do it better than you. They literally can't. There is no AI streamer that can do anything even close to what I can do. Not even fucking close. And that's one of the things that's crazy about this that makes me feel really good when reviewing this comment is because I know that that's the fact. 
There is not a single AI that is even remotely close to doing what I do, not even close. They can't even do a fraction. There might be an AI that can create static images. There might be an AI that can generate prompts, but there is no AI that can set up a beautiful set that can talk dynamically about topics for hours, that can respond in real time to chat, that can know when it would be funny to put this button down. I am down. Hitler! There is no AI that can do that. Not even one, not even close. It's not even, I'm not even close to it happening. I'll probably be fucking old and retired, hopefully, before that technology even comes close to existing. It's other artists who are in danger. Uh, and, in truth, they're not, their art isn't in danger of, of, of like being worse. It's just that their ability to make money and their ability to survive doing it is in danger. Like, I have no doubt that uh, even the worst, uh, uh, you know, video, uh, you know, filmmaker out there will be able to tower above AI films. I've seen AI films and I see where AI films are going. Um, you know, terrible filmmakers will be able to tower above them, but they just won't be able to make any money doing it because the the powers that be, the gigantic multi-million dollar corporations will dismantle um, any sort of system that allows for money to get to those people in the name of filling the airwaves, which they own, uh, with garbage that's meaningless, literally meaningless garbage. So yeah, no, it's not me. I'm not, I'm literally not worried about it even close. The fact that, uh, there's the fact that there's just so goddamn much, um, that I can do that an AI can't, uh, means that I'm in a fairly safe field as far as they go. Anyway, what was special about you is now being replicated and even improved on by a machine. And this enrages you. You enrage me. You enrage me, which is interesting because I'm not enraged by the machine. I'm enraged by people like you, by people like you who are so pathetic and and desperate for anything to be jingled in front of you um, that you would be willing to risk uh, upending the entire livelihoods of people who've kept you sane thus far, okay? Um, People do not realize just how how every single part of their life is impacted by art, especially if you live in in uh you know I mean no actually it's literally just everywhere. There's there is no place on earth that in which you are not perpetually inundated with art created by people. Anyway, let's continue. I'm not going to belabor that point for too long. Let's not pretend as if the art created by humans is not heavily corporatized and commodified. Because of course it is. Okay, yeah, nobody's arguing against that. Nobody ever pretended that. In fact, that's the absolute, that's literally the fucking central, one of the central parts of my argument against AI art is the fact that we've already seen how commodified and corporatized art already is. And what you're asking for is for it to get unimaginably worse. The day we first put a price tag on a piece of art, we started going down this horrible path. There is no difference between human art and AI art. Stop being so full of yourself. You're not that special. This is just a guy yelling in the mirror. What we see right here is just a guy yelling in the mirror. I, I hate being a part of people's weird, like, online self-effacing uh, you know, insecure spirals where it's like, I'm not special. Yeah, maybe you aren't. But um, I know that I am. Right now, there are five, almost 500 people concurrently watching me make fun of your dumbass comment right now. There is no, nowhere on the planet is there an AI stream that is interacting with people in the way that I am right now and has people engaging like they are right now. Can you say that about yourself, my friend? Or is this whole thing just one giant, pathetic, sad puddle, insecure nonsense? Because I think, I think it's the insecure nonsense. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's the comment. Um, that's the comment that I felt the need to, it, it bothered me, it did, you know? Um, People with that type of attitude, I find actively disgusting um, and pathetic and sad and pitiable. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, the reality is there is a there is a distinct um, there's a distinct possibility that in the future corporations sort of all cumulatively decide that they're going to try and push AI AI on us as a replacement for art because artists are seen in our society because of people like this as expendable. They're not valued, despite the fact that art itself is valued unimaginably high. The largest industries in the world, besides like petroleum, which is like fundamental for uh, uh, our current society's work, uh, our, our, our artistic industries, it is necessary. Our souls scream for art. The demand is unbelievable. And they want it to be a product that has nobody behind it. They never want you to think about the people who make it. They never want you to think about what goes into it, what makes something magical, what makes something special, what makes it so valuable to us. Because if you do that, then you have to go, oh shit, damn, these corporations are really mistreating the people who are making this shit happen. And it's actually, we could have a better world. And then they go, oh, ho, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just remember new slop coming out next week. And, and, and guess what? I'll have a new slop five minutes after that and another new slop five minutes after that. And people like this slurp it right up. The muck, they just drink it right up. It's sad. So anyway, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time sort of raging at people like this who actively participate in the devaluing of everything that, that gives us reason to go on. The idea that the average American that spends their time fucking every waking moment that they can listening to music, looking at art all around them all the time. The fact that we have to, we don't live in a gray world. When you go to the store, every single box is covered with colorful characters, colorful swooping logos and everything. Because if everything was in a gray box, we wouldn't know how to tell it all apart. We wouldn't know or care to look at anything. We'd all be fucking dying. But the idea that like Americans are just gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, I'm totally fine. Art is fucking, it's not that special. Okay, good luck, bro. But uh, I think everyone with like half a functioning brain cell can acknowledge that the corporations want you to devalue the artist so they can make money. And AI, AI art in its current form, which is not AI, not even remotely AI, um, is a paltry and cheap alternative that is very convenient for corporations. And they would love it if people were stupid enough to accept it in exchange for the real thing that we're seeking out. Uh, it would be like, um, I don't know. It would be like if you're trying to, trying to live on a diet of AI art would be like trying to live on a diet of artificial sweeteners and nothing else. You might taste the sweetness in your mouth, but your body can't turn it into sugar and you won't be able to survive. That's just how it is. Um, yeah, I feel like I made my arguments pretty well. Anyway, if you thought that was compelling and interesting, and if you want to be subscribed to a streamer that is actually embracing artistic expression, that recognizes the value of art, and that will continue to make fun of pathetic hogs like this, make sure that you hit subscribe right down below. Subscribe to Mama.